Aloha everybody, so uh, in my last video I talked a little bit about what I want to do when I get to Hawaii and a little bit about how I'm saving up some money to get there as far as all the items that I've picked up for free with the yard sale left behinds and stuff that people give to me and these books here are a part of that actually these books here were all free um, when I go and pick up stuff a lot of things that I get are clothes and books. Those are probably the two main things that I get a lot of. I mean just an excess of clothes and books and shoes I think would be probably about third in that category but um, one thing that I started to do was there's a website called bookscouter.com and I'll leave a link in the description below but it gives you a whole list of um, different bookstores, book dealers that buy back books. All you have to do is type in the ISBN, uh, the book's identification number basically, and it'll let you know who's buying that book and for how much. And then what I do is I'll go and I'll find, like say, I'll look up this book and so many people are buying it, so I'll, after I've gone through all my books, what I usually do is I go through all my books, punch in the ISBNs, the books that are currently being bought back by people I'll put in one pile books that are not currently being bought I'll put in another pile and the pile of books usually will be pretty big for the ones that I'm going to donate as to the ones I'm going to sell to these buyback sites because really a lot of books they don't buy back and a lot of it is going to be seasonal type stuff too so anyway um, we'll go through this a little bit, but um, I was selling back to this one site, and these were all the books. It's not a huge, huge um, sale for buyback, but every little bit helps. But we have this history book that they're buying back for, you see, I have my little printout here, but the history book they're buying back for $3.03. So they got that one. I have this photo freedom book that they are also buying back. Let's see, photo freedom, they're buying back for a dollar and thirty-two cents. Scrapbooker, this book here, Scrapbooker, they are buying back for only thirty-four cents. So you know, a lot of them they're not huge. The gemstone carving is they're buying it back for sixty-four cents. Not a big book, but still. Uh, the four temperaments, they're buying this back for 40 cents. Got this cookbook by Barefoot and Contessa, and they are buying this back for $1.59, which is actually pretty good. A lot of them you'll find only a few cents or however. Uh, 150 easy ornaments, they're buying this one back for 64 cents. And then I got this Teacher's Edition Trigonometry book that I picked up at a... This was actually not free. This I picked up at a um, thrift store. And they're buying it back for $2.20. But I think I only spent maybe a quarter on it, so I'm still making some money. So total... Um, and they're paying for the shipping, so I don't have to pay for shipping, which is great. Total, they are buying all these books back for $10.16. So... What I love about a lot of these buyback places, they will pay you back in either PayPal or um, by check. It's your choice. And a lot of them will also pay for the shipping. So that helps a lot. But yeah, I have all these books here that are going to this one buyback site. And you got to really look because um, a lot of the buyback... Uh, dealers or the dealers that are buying your books you have to have like um, like this one here their minimum was a five dollar total for buyback so I had to break that five dollars that they would pay me to buy back books and a lot of them are actually going to be like ten fifteen and even twenty dollars to even buy back your books so you have to kind of look um, I believe this website that is buying these is actually called, yeah, here it is, sellbackyourbook.com. I can leave a link for that one as well. 
but they are only five dollars for their buybacks so it's a really great idea so here in a day or two maybe this afternoon I'm not sure yet these books are going to go into this box nice sturdy box and we're gonna pack them and they will give you rules as to how they want you to pack their books some of them want them wrapped in cellophane which basically you just wrap them in like um, saran wrap you know just your plastic wrap and some of them will say don't put packing peanuts in because it'll actually stick to the books and it makes it really hard to get them off but um, you can use like the packaged air or um, newspapers. I have a ton of newspapers so these books will have newspapers around them. You do not want books shifting around. That's the main go goal that you're looking for in packing books. You don't want them shifting around because they're not going to like that. The books will get banged up and they can't sell them. And also keep an eye out because some books have media that comes with it and if you have a book that doesn't have the media sometimes they will list put it in their thing that they will only buy it back if it comes with the media and everything else if not go ahead and send it out um, you might get a thing back saying you know we have a, have a problem with your order do you want us to just throw this book away whatever because it's damaged or it doesn't have everything with it and you know just be nice and say yeah go ahead and deal with it whatever especially if you got it for free and they're still paying you for the other books don't worry about it but um, anyway that's that's another idea for you guys to make a little money earn a little money save money however and like I said they will pay you back in either check or PayPal most of these places so um, there you have it short little video for you guys today hope you're having a great day uh, have a great Aloha Friday and see you later bye